Hi children, how are you all doing? I'm sure you're doing great. And I'm going to ask you one question. How many of you love to talk? I think answer is yes for all of you, right? We all love to talk. We all love to shout. We all love to express ourselves. We all, love, we all love to demand things. Now, when we talk, what is it that we say? When we open our mouth, there are some words that come out, right? And apart from words, each word that we say has a sound. Sound, okay? So, we are going to, in these few days, we are going to understand what are these sounds and how do these sounds get produced. I'm sure all of you all know alphabets, right? You all know alphabets? All these letters that you see are all alphabets. So, in English language, we know how many alphabets are there. We are going to see that. However, what we are going to look at is how do we pronounce or how do we say each of these letters? Okay, and how do these letters produce sounds? The reason why I am opening my mouth and saying is because we have to know how to produce these sounds. Because when we talk, we actually produce sounds and those create words. Okay, so in these next few hours, minutes that you're going to spend together, we are going to understand the sounds. But before that, Though you all know the alphabets, how many alphabets are there, you know all the alphabets, I would still like to walk you through the alphabets once again. Okay, so kind of a tour of all the alphabets. Now treat these alphabets or letters in English as your friends. Okay, so all the letters that you know in English language are your friends. We are going to make friends with all these letters and we are going to see how these letters produce sounds. Okay, so let's just quickly go and shake hands with all these letter friends of ours. Okay, alphabets. We all know what alphabets are. Okay, can you tell me what the alphabets are? I'm sure all of you all know, right? How many alphabets are there? We'll look at that. But let me just randomly write few letters or alphabets okay so I have written C then I have written H then U then N then K and finally U now how many of you all can read this C H U N K U. These are letters. These are all my friends. I told you, you know all these letters are friends. So these are all my friends. Now when these friends join hands, so let me just join hands with them. Okay. They all have joined hands. And when they join hands, they produce sounds individually. And when they join hands, they become a word. Okay. Now, C, H, U, N, K, U. When you put together, when they join hands and become friends and form a word, this is Chunku. That's my name. Okay. So, I have used my alphabet friends or letter friends to tell you my name. Okay. Now, let's just go and see, though I'm again telling you, you all know all these alphabets. Still, I'm going to walk you through all these friends of ours because we need to see what kind of sounds these letters or alphabets produce. Okay, now let's look at these alphabets. We all know this, right? We have all heard these. So, the moment you start Talking. Now tell me one thing before I move on with the alphabets. What is that first word that you had uttered? The first word that you had said. Okay. There are so many word, uh, letters written here. Alright. But what is that first word that you had uttered when you started talking? And at what age did you start talking? Though it doesn't matter much at what age did you start talking. But 
won't it be exciting to know that once we start recognizing these letters and once we know what kind of sounds they produce, it will be so easy for us to start reading because all that we want to do is become good readers. Why? Because the more we read, the more we gather knowledge. Now again, I'm asking you the same question. What is that first word that you had uttered? And you, your mama must have told you, papa must have told you that when you were very small, maybe when you were, um, you, you didn't even know how to walk. You were just crawling or maybe just lying on the bed. You were some, some months old. You used to do a lot of these cooing. Ah, ooh, ah, ooh used to do. Okay, and these are the sounds that you used to produce from your mouth. And more or less, all children, the first word that they say is ma, ma, okay, ma, ma, that is mamma. So either you say mamma, mummy, ma, whatever it may be, but that's the first word that comes out from your mouth, more or less, mostly. There are children who say something else also, like my daughter didn't say mamma first, she said papa, okay. So it depends. However, mostly the children, the first word that they produce when they actually start talking is mamma okay so mamma is these are the two letter sounds that you are producing so interesting right now you can go go back once this session gets over and ask your mamma what was the first word that i had said all right now all of us know these alphabets okay a b c d e f G and when your teacher or when you were uh, in nursery and or when your mama wanted to make you memorize these letters, she used to sing the song, right? Okay. And what was the song? All of you all know, all right? A B C D E F G. And why do we sing? Because when we sing and when we read out something, we memorize well, okay? So A B C D E F G. H I J K L M N O P, right? That is how you have actually started learning these alphabets. Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. And my daughter used to sing, Now I know my A B C, next time won't you play with me? So when you start singing, you automatically start remembering. I'm sure most of you have remembered, memorized these alphabets using these songs, okay? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z, either Z or Z. We all know this. So how many alphabets are there? Let's look at that. We've got 26 alphabets. However, there is something called vowels how many of you all know this vowels okay so we have got 26 alphabets and five vowels and what are these vowels a e i o u most of us know this i think all of us know these that there are five vowels okay and if there are five vowels what about the rest 21 alphabets? 26 minus 5 is 21. So we have got 5 vowels. What about the rest? The rest are consonants. Okay. So B, C, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, Y, Z. These are consonants. So you see, A is missing here. Okay. B, C, D, E is missing here. F, G, H, I is missing here. J, K, L, M, N, O is missing here. P, Q, R, S, T, U is missing here. When you put, a, put all of these five vowels, the alphabets get completed. So out of 26 alphabets, we have got five vowels, A, E, I, O, U. And at times, uh, someone used to joke that it's I-O. Okay, when you say A, E, I, O, U, it becomes I-O. Okay, so 
and the rest are consonants. Why do we need these vowels and consonants? Because when we produce sounds from our mouth, okay, using our mouth, and there are other parts of this portion that we help that helps us in producing the sounds. So we use these vowels and consonants when they when they get blended together, when they are put together, they form words, and that is how we start talking and reading. So for us, when we hear how, how did we actually start talking? When we hear our parents talking to us, we pick up those words, we, we listen to the sounds, pick up those words and try to produce these sounds and then ultimately start talking. Okay, that is how all of us have started talking. We hear, we retain, we try to produce the sounds from our mouth and we talk. Now the task for us is, now that we are a little bit grown up, we have to start reading. And the reason why I am continuously talking about letters, vowels, consonants is because we have to start reading. Apart from talking, we also need to read. So these alphabets, consonants and vowels are going to help us read. Okay? Now all of you have must been told by your teachers or at home by your mama and papa that each of these letters have a big brother and a small brother or a big sister and a small sister okay now you look at a so a capital a and a small a so each letter has capital and small. So one big, one small. So we call it either capital or uppercase or small or lowercase. So you see, that is how you write all of these letters. All these letters have one big, one small, one big, one small. So A, capital A, small a, capital B, small b, capital C, small c, capital D, small d. Capital E, small e. Capital F, small f. Capital G, small g. Capital H, small h. Capital I, small i. Capital J, small j. Capital K, small k. Capital L, small l. Capital M, small m. Capital N, small n. Capital O, small o. Capital P, small p. Capital Q, small q, capital R, small r, capital S, small s, capital T, small t, capital U, small u, capital V, small v, capital W, small w, capital X, small x, capital Y, small y, and capital Z or Z, small z. So when you write, you always have to be very, very careful about the capital and the small letter. So, A, small a, capital B, small b. And most of the children get confused. My daughter also gets confused between B and D. Okay. Capital C, small c, capital D, small d. So, how I make her remember this B and D is B is your, like this the right hand like this b and d your left hand that is how you remember so capital a capital b capital c capital d small a small b small c small d then capital e small e capital f small one second capital f then we've got small f, capital G, small g, capital H, small h. So you see, it's easy. When you start writing very fluently, it will become more easy for you. And then you will start cursive also. Then capital H, h i, small i, capital J, small j. K, small k, 
L, small l. Okay? Then I'm going to rub this and write the rest. Alright? Capital M, small m. Okay? N, n. So, everybody has a brother, big brother or a big sister and small brother or a small sister. O, O, P, P, Q, Q, R, either you write R like this or you write, write R like this, S, S, T, T, U, U, V, V, W, W, X, X, Y, Y, Z, Z. Now you, you must be wondering why have I written all these letters because we are going to, as I told you, we are going to make friends with these letters and we are going to see that since they have a small brother, a big brother or a small sister and a big sister, do they produce different sounds or not? So all these letters have sounds and in the next lesson we are going to see what kind of sounds these letters produce. So till the time we look at the sounds, just keep remembering these letters and try to make friendship with them. Thank you.